Ever thought of time as just another dimension? Like length or height? Minkowski space-time does exactly that. It fundamentally reshapes how we see the universe. Introduced by Hermann Minkowski in 1908, this concept provides the mathematical framework for Einstein's theory of special relativity. Here's the game changer. Instead of treating space and time separately, Minkowski space-time combines them into a four-dimensional continuum, three dimensions of space and one of time. This idea is visually represented by what's called a space-time diagram, where the position and time of events are plotted. Why does this matter? Well, one key insight is the invariance of the space-time interval. No matter how fast you're moving, whether you're speeding in a jet at Mach 2 or standing perfectly still, this interval remains constant. Mathematically, we express the space-time interval as the square root of the difference between spatial distances squared and time intervals squared. Yes, it sounds simple, but this equation proves essential for understanding special relativity. Say you're on a train moving near the speed of light. To a stationary observer, time could appear slower for you and distances could contract, a phenomenon we call length contraction and time dilation. These effects make sense only if we treat space and time as parts of one unified whole. And gravity? Minkowski paved the way for it to be reimagined not as a force, but as warps and curves in space-time itself. This concept eventually evolved into Einstein's general relativity. So what happens in Minkowski space-time that breaks our everyday intuition? Events that seem simultaneous to one observer might not appear simultaneous to another who's in motion. This shifts our understanding of cause and effect, challenging older notions of absolute space and time. Through Minkowski's lens, the past, present, and future all coexist as part of this continuum, giving us fascinating new ways to think about causality and even the nature of reality itself. And while experimental confirmation backs this framework, like the time dilation observed in GPS satellites, we still encounter profound philosophical questions is time something we move through, or is it simply there, unchanging? If grappling with the mysteries of our universe excites you, hit that subscribe button. At HyperFocus, I'll guide you through cutting-edge insights in advanced science, from physics to philosophy, without the pop-sci detours. Let's explore Minkowski space-time and beyond.